This is a review for the Magnificent Mobile Microscope by the Curiosity Box. As the package says, it should magnify the image by 90 times. So it is 9000%. This is what the original image should look like and this is the magnified image. This is actually the, the microscope itself. The package, as you can see, is pretty cool one. Okay, and it includes three pieces. This is the Microsoft itself. This is the mobile phone sucker stabilizer. And I'll show you later what it does. And these are some samples. It actually has two samples, duck feather and butterfly wing. Uh, for you to check and see and some other blank slides for you to look through. So I already opened it, as you can see, to see how it works. Let me open and pull it out. So let me move the box away. So this is a, an instruction sheet of what's inside, I already went through it, and this is what you get. This is the microscope itself, this is the stabilizer for the phone, and it is with suction. The idea is you're putting it on some kind of surface, flat surface, and then you can put your phone on it. I don't have another phone, I'm filming it actually with my current phone. You're putting the stabilizer, you're putting the microscope on your phone, and let me just use it as a phone. The idea is you're putting the phone on the stabilizer uh, in order for it to be uh, parallel to the ground and for you not to hold it. And you put it like this. Let me just demonstrate it. There is a spring here. And on both sides of this uh, thing, there is actually a soft rubber. When you put it on your phone, uh, one piece is touching your camera, this side, and the other side is touching your screen. So it is rubber uh, in order for the screen not to scratch and the camera not to scratch. This thing I'm spinning here is a lock mechanism for the focus. This is the, the focus itself. I'll show you later when I put the, uh, the microscope on the phone what it does. Okay, so this is the focus. Here you can see a button. There are three positions for the button to be. One of it is off, as it is now. One of it is with the light. Okay, it has some uh, light symbol. And one of it, it has some kind of dollar symbol and it is in a UV light, ultraviolet light. In order for you to see some cool ultraviolet thing, uh, and you can uh, take this thing off at all, okay, like this. I didn't break it just now, I just took this thing off and you can look inside. Okay, let me just put it back on. So after you focus, you can screw it and log the focus. I can see a few samples. This is a butterfly wing, but it won't focus in it. There is a duck feather. Okay, inside, and there are three other uh, samples that are empty that you can look inside. So let me just put the microscope on the phone and let's see uh, what we get. We are looking at uh, magnification of that uh, duck feather. Let me just show you before we start what this um, focus does. So currently I'm playing with the focus okay and you see it lost the focus and I'm trying to return the focus and I think I got it and let me just focus with the phone okay so here it is here's the feather and the duck feather and it actually magnifies it a lot let me just zoom in and see some cool things here. Probably the resolution won't be so great, but nevertheless, we can see every hair of the feather. I don't know how to say it. 
but it looks like hair, so I'm gonna call it hair. You're seeing every single hair of the feather. Let me just take it out and try to find the butterfly wing. So you can see it a little less clearly because it is transparent, but let me just zoom in. I don't really know what it is. So as you can see, it is less clear than the duck feather. And this is with the regular light. And let me just show you how it looks like with the UV. This is the light turned off and this is the UV. Okay, and you see, you can see some other stuff here. It is like a trans, I don't know, like a skeleton and it plays with the with the lighting you can see other stuff I don't really know what I'm seeing here maybe someone can explain it in the comments now let's look at some other stuff so now we are looking at the tattoo that the, uh, that came with the curiosity box you can't really see it but it is uh, some kind of uh, animal but what you can see is that it is colored using dots. Okay, you see the uh, red, blue, and uh, I think it's violet. It's supposed to be green, but it's violet. Dots. Here's some something that I don't really know what it is. Maybe some dust. I don't know. And another thing. Yeah, it's just I picked it up, and it was just some bread. I think some kind of dust. So this is cool. Now we are looking at my sofa and it is a leather-like sofa so it is, and it is really old one. Now you can see where the leather is like broken. You can see very very fine details with it. This is my, my finger. You can see my finger very very up close and it is also very cool. The level of details are very very high. And this is a pillow that I have that looks like a, a watermelon. So this is the red part and we are switching to the white part of the watermelon. Some black stuff. Of the watermelon, the this is cool. This is a smoshy that I have, which is basically like a, a lot of uh, rubber rubber hairs. So this is what you're currently seeing. These are the rubber hairs of the toy that I have. So I think it's. It looks very very cool yeah so now you can see the hairs that are very close and focused and in the background some hairs that aren't in, in very good focus and this is uh, some letters that are printed printed on the uh, the instruction sheet that came with the with the microscope and you can see how it is printed and it says lens let's come back to it again and this is the lens of the microscope and final thing that i want to show you is my uh, table that i'm filming it on it so this is how it looks like in close-up and there is some crack in the table because it is an old one very very old table and the level of detail is very very huge so, as you can see, the microscope works very well. You can play around with it and see uh, cool things, whatever you want. This was uh, a review of the Magnificent Mobile Microscope by Curiosity Box. As you saw, it actually magnifies a lot. I don't know if it is actually 90 times magnification, but it does make the image look much much bigger with a um, great resolution it is a cool toy for kids 
to make them uh, curious about stuff, about uh, things, uh, physical things, and what they are made of. And uh, for grown-ups as well, if you'd like me to show you some other uh, magnified things, uh, you can uh, comment in the comment section down below, and I'll make a video, separate video, with uh, magnified stuff around uh, my house, if I have them. If you're requesting to, I don't know, some uh, vegetable or some material that you want to see up close with this microscope, how it looks like, uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll make a video out of it. So uh, that's, that's it for now and uh, see you next time.